Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of the Simply Complex YouTube channel. Today I thought it would be fun to try and get everyone started on Dynamo and Grasshopper at the same time so you can compare and contrast. And I thought it would be simple to just go ahead and start a point. Build a point in Dynamo, build a point in Revit, build a point in Grasshopper, build a point in Rhino. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's first start with Revit and we're going to open up a conceptual mass template. And from here, we're actually going to go ahead and open up Dynamo. If you don't have Dynamo and you have Revit, you can go ahead and go to dynamobim.org and download it for free. Today we'll be using Dynamo version 1.1. We're going to actually start a new Dynamo session and you'll be able to see this blank canvas. Since we're going to create Dynamo geometry first, we're going to go to the geometry tab. Under geometry tab, we scroll down to point and then we do by coordinates. As you can see, this is a node. It's going to actually create the point for us, and it has input ports X, Y, and Z. This is where we'll be putting in our numbers. So for coordinates, let's go ahead and do zero, a one comma two comma three. I'd like to put in some number sliders in here, so you can right click and always use sliders. So I'm going to go ahead and do one, and you can copy and paste. Here's number sliders. And then you also have the ability to change the settings and the step. I'm going to change the step to 1 and also the min max values. I'm going to change this step to 1 as well. I could also change this one as well. Then when I move the slider, it would only move by that increment. So this would be 2 and this would be 3. So we're going to go ahead and wire these up, and you can already see the point dynamically moving in the Dynamo preview background. <clears throat> if you want to go ahead and look in the preview background, you can click this button, and this enables the background preview. It'll then gray out the nodes, and you have the ability to move and pan and zoom and see the preview. Now, this, is, this red dot you see is Dynamo geometry. It is not Revit geometry. If you look in the Revit window, it actually shows a blue dot, but that is only... That's only Dynamo Preview Geometry. You have the ability to turn that off in the settings if you like, but we'll go ahead and leave it on. Now the next thing is we want to build a point inside of Revit that is controlled by Dynamo Geometry. And that's really easy to do now that we have the point in Dynamo. All you do is come to the Revit tab because we're building Revit Geometry. And under Elements, you go to Reference Point. Under Reference Point, we could do by coordinates again. But, but there's a simpler way to do it. You can actually just say by point because there already exists a dynamo point. You can wire these together. And once you did that, you can see a, a point is created in dynamo, which is a real, I mean, excuse me, in Revit. And this is a real, this is real Revit geometry. You could go ahead and move the sliders around and you can see that it's actually changing the dynamo geometry as well as the Revit geometry. Okay, so now let's see how that works inside of Grasshopper and Rhino. So you go ahead and start up Rhino. And then we'll get a we'll get just one background, 3D background. And then in order to start up Grasshopper, you just type in Grasshopper in the command line. And then similar, you can actually create a new, you can create a new document. This is Dy this is Grasshopper's canvas. We want to create a point. So under vector, you say construct point, and you slide it into the canvas to get it started. And it looks very similar to Dynamo. You can see. It has input ports as well. So let's go ahead and get sliders. Now, if you want to do a search in Dynamo excuse me, in Grasshopper, you can double click on the canvas and it'll give you give you a search window and then you type slider. We'll get the number slider. The options here work slightly different. Uh, so then you so we could change the values. We can do a maximum. You type the value in and, and click the green checkbox. And you can go ahead and type the value right here if you wish. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste these just like in Dynamo. You're able to change the sliders here. 
you can change the increment as well or you could double click and then you'll actually get more options so I'm gonna go ahead and change it here one more options is you could just change it right here in the window as well if you double click on the sliding area and then you wire these in similar the only difference is in Grasshopper you click on the output port and you hold down the mouse button and then you slide it into the input port in Dynamo you click once in the output port and then drag it over to the in input port but very similar now you notice that there is no background preview in in Grasshopper Grasshopper does not have its own background preview its preview is done in the Rhino environment so you can see the, the red X there that is grasshopper geometry. It is not rhino geometry. You can tell because I can window this and nothing shows up as a selection. There's no rhino entity there. In order to create a point in rhino, it's different than creating a point in Revit from, from Dynamo. You use a concept called bake. So you right click on the actual ge di uh, grasshopper geometry and then you click bake. It would then bring up uh, a dialog box and we can just call it whatever we want. But now that it's actually writing it to the, now that it's creating a rhino element, you have the ability to, to put it on layers and give it a name and so on. So now you can see when I window, I actually do select a point. And you can see one point is selected. That's how you create a point in Grasshopper and Rhino. And that's how you create a point in Revit, and Dynamo, and in Revit. Thank you for listening.